It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Galway Bay Brewery and it's today of Foam and Fury Double IPA coming in at 8.5% ABV. I'd like to say a big thank you to Paul Daly from Ireland who sent us the beer to review. Um, he is confident I'm going to love this beer so without further ado let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Love that label. I like the sound of the beer. Great bottle cap. This will be my first proper, whoa, lovely smoke, look at that. This will be my first proper kind of double IPA, IPA from Ireland for that matter. Had some great Scottish ones, had some great Welsh double IPAs, had some, of course, American and English, but Nothing from Ireland until now. And this one, just by the look of it, looks like it's not going to disappoint. And as you can probably notice, my nose is about 200 millimeters max from this beer. And all I can smell is a massive punch of American hops in this beer. Lovely carbonation then to the beer. A slight haze to it, which I like. I've always said this. And even now in America, there's some breweries that are brewing double IPAs and one of the breweries has called it the Haze Double IPA. I don't like the idea of the centrifuge. You know where they, they, they spin the beer at a hour, ever many miles per hour and they spin all of the haze and all of the bits and pieces completely out of the beer. So it looks like a sparkling... It's all for the look of the beer. But for me personally... I think you're losing something from the beer when you do that. You're losing that, for me, double IPA look. You're losing that IPA look for the start. I like it. I like the, and I, to be honest, I like the color of this beer as well. It's a lovely red color. It's a two finger, slightly off white head. Loads of carbonation, as I mentioned earlier. Look at that. Let's get the aroma. No. Oh. Oh, blimey, a foam and fury. <sighs> yeah, look at the foam and smell that fury. It's a furious hop kick. Very pungent, mango, grapefruit, pineapple, orange peel, orange, fleshy blood orange, lemon. Oh, I'm going to dive into this one. Cheers. Oh ho oh, oh. oh, ho! Oh, oh. Stone the crows! Stone the crows! This is unbelievable! That hot bitterness has only just peaked on my palate. That was climbing and climbing and climbing until it was scraping through the roof of my mouth. Oh, but it's so flavoursome. There's nothing worse than an IPA, double IPA, There's just raw bitterness. There's no flavour. This is packed with flavour. And boy, doesn't that kick of bitterness whack you around the chops on the back end. It is mind-blowingly hoppy. Right, let's calm down a minute and let's bring you some flavour because that's what you're here for. Anybody can shout about bitterness. Pardon me. Mango, grapefruit, bit of lime in there. There's a nettle earthy bite and finish to the beer. There's orange peel, there's lemon. 
It's got a great body to the beer. Really, really good body. It's a sticky American style double IPA. The, the hops stick to your lips. The hops stick inside of your mouth and your throat and it kind of hangs around. So what that does then, it, it kind of slows the beer down from, you know, when you swallow the beer, it kind of sticks all the way down. So that's what gives you that rampant, that rampant bitterness and taste. That, that's what takes it through the ceiling of normal IPAs is when the beer is able to stick around all of your, all of the, the taste buds in your mouth and that, that's a great thing it's a great thing it's not too thick it's not too gloopy uh, it's still very drinkable this is a phenomenal beer phenomenal beer I'm gonna leave that out for a moment I'm not gonna it, it probably is a ball condition beer so there's gonna be some yeast in there so I will show you later on in the review but there's no point in spoiling it just yet Lovely lacing then on the glass. Look at that great lacing. It's just an all-round top top beer. I love it when a beer makes me smile. When when a beer just brings a smile on my face and I could just stand here the whole review and just smile away at the hops in this beer. Bit of licorice. Yeah, let's let's concentrate on the malt now because there will be some a big aspect of malt being. Did I give the ABV? That's sacrilege if I didn't. It's eight point five percent ABV. So being eight point five percent ABV, there's a whack of malt gone in this beer just to get that alcohol level up as high as we can. Eight point five percent. So um, yes, it's very biscuity. It's very bready. Licorice, I'm going to say licorice. And a little bit of bitter coffee and chocolate. Only a little bit because of the colour of the beer. Maybe even some spicy rye. Um, it's a fantastic beer, this. Absolutely fantastic. Of oh, foam and fury. Right, I was talking earlier about it being, it might be a bottle conditioned beer. Actually, it doesn't look like it is. There's not an awful lot there shining through on the bottom of the glass. It's probably just unfiltered. I'm going to give it a rating. Um, I'm, I'm so pleased to get my first American, uh, sorry, my first Irish American style double IPA from, from Ireland. Um, it's been a long time. I was in London two years ago at a festival. Um, Taste London it was called. And I was on the Pilsner Urquell bar uh, doing, a, doing an event for Pilsner Urquell. Um, and I met this Irish fellow who worked there. And he's a great fellow. Um, we chatted for hours and we drank Pilsner Urquell all day long. Um, and he was telling me about the craft beer scene in the island, how it's really kicking on and, and getting very busy. But even though that happened, I was still not able to get any of their beer in the UK and all the time I'm wondering I wonder how good it is so finally I've got a chance to try it so I'm happy about that um, it's been brewed with Galona, Chinook, Pacific Jade and Simcoe and has two large dry hop additions to really push the fantastic citrus aromas and bitterness resinous flavours absolutely brilliant stuff 8.5% ABV as I said yeah it's an unfiltered I singless free vegan friendly beer. Great. Please go and try this. Whatever you do, if you're into your beer, go and find it. It's worth it. Rating then for Foam and Fury double IPA. I can't take anything away from that beer. Anything away at all. It's got everything that I want in a beer. Great mouthfeel, earthy, hoppy, pungent, American hops. It's got everything, 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 everything. Great mouthfeel, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Thank you to Paul Daly for sending the beer. Put your comments in the comments box. 
Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.